hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm Danielle, and today we are going to go over signs that you may have ADHD. All right, it's beautiful out. It's finally overcast here in Arizona, and it's not a million degrees. All right, number one, time management problems or time blindness. This is definitely someone with a with ADHD can struggle with or just not quite understand or they think you know a task is only going to take a certain amount of time and they're wrong and they're wrong or they're e either late or early to appointments and just time management is really hard or they're on a task and just time gets away from them and they're unaware so number two often loses their ne uh, often loses things necessary to complete a task or activity and this can be definitely really challenging sorry my phone is gonna blow over so i need to make sure it doesn't fall um they often lose things so i know like if i'm in a rush and i have so many things on my mind my keys i'll misplace them i'll misplace them my phone I'll misplace them and it's just my mind is frazzled this happens to a lot of people who have adhd or add next one excessive talking <laughs> definitely we get distracted and we just start talking about random things especially if um someone's asking a question we'll answer it before the question is even asked all the way it is often distracted this one definitely happens especially when i'm cleaning and i find something that's been lost for a while i get distracted or if there's a task that i'm just really not into i'll like forget that that's what's going on hi baby and I get distracted. By the time I realize what's going on, we're distracted. Next and last, learning disabilities. Not everybody who has ADD or ADHD has learning disabilities, but I know I do. I was in special ed for forever, forever, um, always in special ed. And I have an IEP. I'm sorry, it's still bright here, so I'm like squinting and stuff, even overcast. Um, an IEP, it stands for Individual Education Plan, and um, this gave me, like if we had questions, multiple options on a test, they would take half of them away because it was too overwhelmed, or if I needed my test read to me because I interpret the words differently when someone reads it to me versus how I read it, and um, I actually really, really relied on my IEP versus trying to understand stuff. Um, and it just had to do with learning disabilities and not understanding the correct way to cope. And I just didn't have any of the accommodations that I really needed. So let me know if you guys struggle with any of these in your own personal life. I'm going to go because it's just so bright and I can't keep my eyes open. Daniel out.